Welcome back to another Pokemon Retrospective Let's Play. Now we are... I just didn't grind too much. I just did some minimal... Um, what is it called? Feathers grinding. But not about 100 past that. So I just did barely anything. Like you can... I don't know if you can even tell. Yeah, I can't tell either. It's just a minimal boost which exhaust got and it just gained one level. So I didn't do any significant grinding. <coughs> but doesn't matter. Right now what matters is that we continue and I don't think we need extensive IV training to get um, X U Z high. Let's see. Can we can go on this? No. Yes, we can. Wait. I never needed strength to begin with. Oh, whoops. Well, never mind. Let's just solve this puzzle. For some reason, there's no wild encounter right now. Earlier we got so many, now we get nothing. And so we have a shiny stone which only involves one Pokemon. I sell like two in the game, why would you even bother? It's so weird. Okay, here uh, Team Plasma is getting wrecked. Can we... No, we just have to battle these trainers. <coughs> I hope they have a bunch of Pokemon that give us attack IVs or speed IVs because that's what we need. So the first Pokemon is Watchhawk. Which uh, Samurai can just one shot with any move. So but we go for strength. Wow. We actually didn't want one shot the Watchhog. Samurott, what's going on? I guess that's the disadvantage when you swap return with strength. 80 base power is just not enough. Compared to other 80 base power moves, strength feels like so underwhelming to me, I don't know why. Probably because of the awful animation, but I feel it every time I have a Pokemon with strength, it just doesn't do the job. Let's just surf here. We are lucky that we got only Pokemon with speed and attack IVs so far. So for Axio, that's like Thanksgiving. Let's see. We are going to see N awaken the next the dragon Pokemon. Oh a Pokemon that doesn't give us um, any speed IVs. <coughs> Let's surf here. Really no point to worry about that. One point in special defense, I think. That's no big deal. We are not training our Pokemon for competitive battling. We are just going to sweep, and I just want most of the good stats to be at least at a decent uh, potential level. Also, we have experience share to grind up Axew to a reasonable level. We are going to one shot the gym leader with a fracture and you will see that Dragon Dance is broken as shit. We just need time to set up on the weakest Pokemon and the rest is history. It goes for fake out but that's not a big deal. Such a shame, I hope we would evolve the bird by the time we are this far. 
Dragon Dance. There it is. Now we, we get rid of Slash for now because False Swipe may come in handy when we get to Terrakion, but Terrakion is a rock type, so False that move won't do too much. So, who, uh, what does this person have? And three Pokemon. The first one is Watchhog, which we just drown in a wave of water. And that should do. The next is Scraggy. Look at us, another special defense IV here. What is next? It's a garbage Pokemon. No, it's Croc. Look, he is intimidating us. But no matter, we just drown it. And with this, we defeated this team Plasma Ground. Oh, there's an item. Let's see what's inside. It's a Dragon Fang. I don't know if we n will need that, but it's not a bad item. Okay, we have to go like this. Like this. Take this. It's a star piece. This, this, let's go down like this. So, yeah, it's, we can't go past this, but we can take this item here. Another stardust. So, if we go here and like this, should I jump over here? And there we go. That's terrifying. But seriously, there. What's this? Mix elixir. And here are the annoying members of Team Plasma. So. Are they going to take turns fighting me? Or are they all ganging up on me? No, they take turns, so they will be destroyed. I don't think it would matter if they attack us simultaneously, because we have like... 6 relatively powerful Pokémon. Like, what is Watchup going to do against this giant broken water type Pokémon? And die, that's the answer. So, Xers really enjoying those IVs. Or oh, delicious attack IVs. And these two give two a piece, two set points per piece. Delicious. And uh, Samurai reached another level. One ground down, three to go. So what does this person have? Takes a while until the battle loads. A croc. A sand croc. Oh, this one has Moxie, but it's gonna drown, so goodbye. Now who is next? This guy. I wonder if, Ed, if Exu is in a slow experience group or what. Garbage. This is what we have to fight now. 
Let's see how much strength does against garbage. Just to see. It still survived. It survived. It's unbelievable. Strength is such a bad move. I don't care what you say. Can't even kill a pile of garbage. Yeah, let's surf here. I take the. Let's take this fake out. And then drone. It's a cat. So much for light part. So just one more left, and then you can go on. Oof. This is so exhausting. And so, another Watchhog. So far we got quite a lot of good IVs to force that the least important ones were rather minimal. Now we can go on. What do you have to say? Look, the stairs look like so transparent. There are no items here and we see N. Who is standing in front of Rishiram. Back when Rishiram was first revealed, there was such a great hype. Because it's the first dragon and fire type. Yeah believe that this pony looking thing ugly I don't know what that's supposed to be that doesn't look like a dragon it looks relatively ugly there was a huge speculation what this thing's type would be but now it after its reveal it's relatively meh whatever it's it's neat that we got a firefight dra dragon type, right? Like fire and dragon that coverage is almost unresisted. Especially in generation 5. So the only Pokemon that can switch in is Heatran. Ha, huh, jokes on you. And um, Reshiram has the ability Turbo Blaze which ignores Heatran's Flash fire ability, so it will be hit by a 130 base power blue flare. Yet yeah, these Pokemon have two signature moves apiece. Blue fa flare is insanely strong. 130, it's stronger than fire blast. Like, did this Pokemon really need such a high base power move? Coupled with Draco Meteor, Focus Blast. And because it's generation 5, where permanent weather is a thing, you can slap a solar beam on it in com and have a team with crowd on and just fire a solar beam at your opponent. Which many didn't do because Kyogre is a thing obviously. Yeah, Rich Ram can also learn Roost. In generation 5, Dragon typing was so at pretty much at its peak and this thing has 120 base attack on top of his already gigantic 150 special attack so people just slap outrage on it and there's that's that I'm not really sure if we should have gone this place or what maybe I should just like Reshram had a lot of hype and in generation 5 it was a good legendary Pokemon but since gen 5 it got worse and worse because of fairy mainly but Vesla was nerfed some its moves got nerfed 
It's so bad that even Ferrisol can outplay it and wear it down. A freaking grass steel typing can wear this thing down because of its stealth rock weakness. It's in Ubers it isn't as good as fire f uh, dragon type would normally be. But regardless, in, in Generation 5 it does a good job. If you see some Wi-Fi battles, but Generation 6 it got completely destroyed. Like Primal Groudon, it eats it for breakfast. Primal Kyogre eats it for breakfast. Xerneas sets up on it, Moonblasted away. Like what are you gonna do against it? And the answer is nothing. You just take it. Bottom tier Uber Legendary Pokemon. And it's sadly too strong to be released into the lower realm. That yeah, it's poison ball. I never heard of this item. But it doesn't matter. It's bad, don't use Rish Ram in Generation 6. Not even in Generation 7, it's really good because it's pretty much outclassed by Groudon and Mega Blaziken. Yes, it's outclassed by Mega Blaziken. Can you <laughs> can you believe that? It's a special attacker and it's outclassed by a physical attacker. Like this, there's no reason to use Reshiram in Generation 7 and 6. Unless you want star points, or you really, really like Reshiram. I have to say I don't like Reshiram, so I'm not gonna use it. This is also why we pick Pokemon White, which ironically has a black Pokemon. But what I really want to say is, despite Reshiram, being so bad, which it is, it still had that unique typing that made me want to use it at the time. A type that only some of the best Pokemon deserve, like Charizard. Now I'm glad Mega Charizard got justice by receiving that legendary typing. So we don't have to look at Reshiram anymore. What you saw earlier was Shelmet, and if you trade it against a Carablast, it evolves into an Exelgor, which is a bottom tier but really fast ninja like Monobug type, which learns some powerful special attacks like Focus Blast. Energy Ball, Giga Drain, and it can learn uh, Recover, but I don't think anyone used it with Recover. I don't remember all its moves, but it also got Bulk Burst, so it's a hard hitting, decently hard hitting special attacker for what it is, but because it's a Mono Bug type, nobody really used it, so it plummeted into bottom tier. That did some. As a shenanigans, it, did it learn spikes? I'm not certain, but it's really nice to see. That's a fine Pokemon, but Carablast got the better end of the trade by evolving into. Yeah. What was the evolution name? We will see it, I'm certain, in the playthrough. A steel type. Which makes it defensively potent. It gets her uh, scissors typing. You have to breathe for Mega Horn. But it learns Sword Stance. And with, coupled with Iron Head, it's insanely potent. Its Dream World ability Overcoat is good for future generations. In this generation, you don't have to worry about it. And what happens is that it, 
can learn some fighting moves, I believe. I really, my Pokemon knowledge is getting down the drain over time. It really shows that I'm not playing a lot of Pokemon anymore. I would have to check what it can learn, but yes, Sword Stands and Stab moves already pretty decent, but likely not why you would use it. So we have here a Max Potion, makes it spur a little more. I think it's attacks that exceeds 130, has great bulk and some other neat things I won't mention about. But in this generation people use it and the ability that boosts bug type move in an emergency because that's the best ability it gets for this time at the game because what are you going to do with shell armor? It's not a defensive... It has defensive stats, but you are not... You don't need as a crit protection. Oh god, this thing will give us special attack IDs, but we have no choice but to kill it. Unless... Well, never mind, just... Just eliminate the ice cream. Yeah, what was it? Oh, and here is the Pokemon we are uh, of the our fractures. Even as this Pokemon, it it is enough to see play in Enu because it has Mold Breaker, it has Dragon Dance, and it has Insane Attack. It's it's so <laughs> it's so crazy how good Dragon types are in this Gen U. You want to use a dragon type. You want that outrage. So you, you coupled with area light you get some really good defensive stats. And you really want that. And here we got Citrus Berry, but doesn't matter. So let's take this elixir. Get on the bike jump down this place like this and another world encounter with a scumfisk. Scumfisk Goldfisk. <coughs> yeah seriously that's it's Flexurus is surprisingly good. And Hexrus is even better. I think Almost all fully evolved dragons are top tier Pokemon. And this generation really hit home. It's the Outrage generation. Outrage and Draco Meteor Spam. If it isn't weather, it is fighting and dragon spam. Like, how many? This generation has so many spammable moves. It's. There's there's a, re there's a reason why so many moves got nerfed. They even took 5 base points away from Surf because Rainbow Set Surf is so insane. And now imagine a Hydro Pump on the rain. Hydro Pump went down from 120 to 110. Let's make a haunt this one. Probably will give us some special attack IVs, but sacrifices have to be made. And now Alomola Alomola. It has really high defense. How do we break through it? Let's see. This thing's defense or oh, monkey's power. Sheer power. Goes for the protect. Predicting my move. Let's break some knuckles. 
and thrash it around with our thrash attack. Look at the damage. That's a solid to it KO. Now the screen is down. Predicted the upcoming attack, which I can't avoid sadly. Do we get confused? Of course we get confused. Let's switch out. We're not to this thing, we are going to Pigeon. Pigeon has something because Pigeon really needs that experience. Goes for the double slam. Well, a wake up slam, it's called. Yes. And followed by water pools. How slow is our Pokemon that we get freaking out bad by Alomomomola? Alomomola. Alomomomola. Predicts a quick attack and uses protect. Come on, take out the hardly fish. And we get down another citrus berry. Oh god, okay. I will... I'm kinda tired of these world encounters, so I'm going to use a max repel here. Oh, that's another... Max revive. Nice. Okay, there's not much I can do. I can't push this boulder. Okay, we can go like this and we find another Ultra Ball. And we found Carbos. I'm going to give this Carbos to our mighty dragon. You used to have this Carbos, I know. And says nothing. There's a Pokemon we haven't encountered yet, which is almost always in the water. Good eight. We now are going to use another repel. Like this, like this. Oh, we can avoid the encounter. Oh boy. Okay, we have to fly to the desert. Desert resort. heal here and then we are going to we are going to um, hunt after team plasma I think we can switch out to pigeon here for now. If wild ghost types appear then we have to run away. So like this, like this. Oh he and he noticed us. Let's see how we will do against him. So he has one Pokemon uh, worker slack. And he has a timber uh, fighting time. Go pigeon! But we don't need a flying type to defeat it. Oh, uh, we really needed that quick claw boost. Repel go off.
Let me upgrade another one. This takes so long. So we get to the next section. Let's defeat the doctor just in case. I don't think we will even go this far. His name is Jerry and he has a little something that's going to give us a special attack by me. Let's just knock it out before I return. One shot it. Thanks for the heal. This karate guy may give us some attack IVs. What is in the sand? Is it sand? It's black glasses. Boosting all dark type moves. Is this guy? This guy is going to give us some soft sand. I hope you have seen the memes. But. Fighting rock normal type boosting items really neat. Here we see the Damanitans. Can we now go? Yes, we can. Okay, this guy is going to fight us. What does he have? His name is Perry and he has a Ziggulf. Level 24. Let's go for... Let's go for a return here. Has light screens. I hope this thing gives us speed IVs for our... Yeah, we get priority now, and we can take it out. Or oh, exhaust Saros, I meant. Do we get some? Yes. So we need just two more levels, and we can reach final form birdie. Yeah, go down, down, down. We found a revive. Let's go up here, down here. Wait a second. That's okay. What are you gonna say? Nothing. I see. We need to get out of the bike. Yeah, let's take the cover. Awesome. Oh, that was close. What is this guy gonna do? Nothing. I should have talk to him from the side. <coughs> Let's see what he has. He has three Pokemon, that's a good start. He has a Watchhog. Level 34. Can we take it out with our relatively bird, weaker bird? He's going to have our HP. Let's go for a turn and see. Yeah, that's a solid bit KO. But he has Hyper Fang, so. Yeah, we dead. But I think from this range, Exos may be able to deal with it himself. Let's go for Dragon Dance first. So we are now at the same level. As this Watchhog. Can we outspeed it? Yes, we can. Now for the Dragon Claw in the face. 
and we took down our first victim. Now we get a nice level up. Ghost was a croc. It doesn't have intimidate, so we may defeat it. I let's see, Dragon Claw right in the face. Set some one hit KO right here. Next is another croc. You know what? I will. I will take my chances and one shot it. You have done well, X you. You know what? I will be greedy. Sorry, m um, special snowflake, but you are not that special. Time to give it to someone who deserves it more. Lucky egg. How lucky. Let's see. We go down the drain. There's an item. What's inside? A max potion. It's is this a female trainer? Oh, wild encounter. Who's that Pokemon? It's a croc. Uh, mold breaker is breaking the mold. We couldn't run away from this thing. Well, now we could. Let me see. I will just use another repel here and talk to. Okay, and it's now at the same level as my Pokemon. It's another Croc, and this one is even stronger. It's faster than me, so maybe monkey can handle it. Hmm. Ghost was a scary face. At half the speed we have, can we still one shot? Well, we can't outspeed it, but we, if we hit, we one shot regardless. Never underestimated a monkey. Thanks for the experience. And the speed attack IVs. So what does this guy have? Team Plasma Grant. Go so Shraggy. Shraggy, what can this thing have that can hurt my Pokemon? We are at the same level. Let's Dragon Dance. So, gets a nice boost. He goes high jump kick. What? And it gets a Moxie boost. Okay, this is this is unexpected. Okay, but we really want that experience. So. I'm going to revive X U. And now for the future, I know that I should give it back the experience share and swap our Pokemon. If I could have set up on this, then I could have swept his entire team, I'm really certain. Let's see what he has, a Watchhog. Can be one shot with just one dragon dance. Let's drown it. Drowned. He had just two Pokemon, then. Okay. Uh, let's give it. Where is it? The experience share back. And. Put somewhat on the front again. Can do it like this. 
Now we talk to her. And then we need to be carefully moving past the sand and then we can... Oh boy, this is garbage. Complete garbage. I think uh, we can... We can solve this puzzle somehow. Samurat, at this point, Samurat will be the MVP. Like, we have so many MVPs, so. Shadow Ball. Let me check. Can Special Snowflake learn Shadow Ball? I think not. Pathetic. Let's go down here. Let me see here. No, there's nothing. If everyone frees their Pokemon, there's no winning or losing. What does he have? Un just one Pokemon, is it Garbodor? No, it's a croc. We just one shot it. The surf. I just noticed this guys have the same level curve as the wild Pokemon here. I would have expected one or two levels higher. Maybe this guy just caught one. We don't need to. Oh no, I misclicked. I'm so used to clicking B and run that I did not anticipate that a sunstone we could evolve our whimsical if I wanted to. Around this area, I. How should I maneuver this? It's team Plasma Ground. It has a light part. Hmm. Let's surf you. What is the next Pokemon gonna be? Garbage. Let's drown it. Yet let's throw it in the ocean. No another one. It's dead. <sighs> so boring. Oh no. I should activate another one. Where is it? It says, no, this self scarf. We want to activate Max Repel. 
there's a PP up. It will be handy later on. And here we have the next team ma uh, plasma ground. Two of them we have to fight, and then it should be we should be in the place where team plasma tries to fight Volcarona. Let's surf here. And another one, right in the face. I would have guessed that this thing would throw a high jump kick, 130 base power move at us. So let's see what she has. Watchhog? No, garbage. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Surf it. I'm running out of PP. Next is light part. Uh, so let's take it down with another surf. Drowned. Now we can just go down here. And here's Elder with. With gets us. He's looking for the dust cone here. Doesn't make a lot of. Well, I don't know. God, they say didn't find it apparently. So what's going on here? We are now out of this place and our is the professor is calling what this oh yeah we now we should go to the museum. Is it just me or does Elder's mouth look like a cat face, smiley face? So let's go to the gym. Just here. And we should get the dark stone. N not to be mistaken with dusk stone. What does this remind me of? I don't really know anymore. Now we are told to go to the next gym. Okay. 
could we could just revive our fossil Pokemon while we hit it. But we can't pick it up yet because I don't have enough space. Normally something like that should be put into your what is it called in your They really want you to take your fossil Pokemon to into your team and I don't really want that. Let's go to the um, ice gem. But I I will swap our bird now with our samurai Pokemon. <coughs> Sadly, because I I got strength relatively late. X you will like perhaps not scale to the gym level in time. But I'm not giving up. We will see if we can catch up somehow. Go like this, like this. This should root 80, right? Like this. more levels before a few Pokemon evolve. And now who is that? It's Bianca. Are you going to fight us? Okay, let's beat her up. Didn't really care about this, but maybe the experience we gain from beating her up will come in handy. And it's a scout land, so it gives you three attack IVs. And it's raining, so we have a field advantage, even if our attack just dropped. Let's drown the dog. And... And drowned. There's a power of rain boosted surf. And just one more level and our dragon evolves into a mighty extra boomerang dragon. Ooh, it's fast and that did barely any damage. Mega horn right in the face. Gone. Go away broccoli face. Next up is Ember. Who looks like Ganon for some reason. Let's drown it. Level 40, that should give us some experience. And lastly, but not least, Mushano. And it's warning its math itself from a... to be killed by this mega home right in the face. Ooh, it survived and goes for defense cure. Let's drown it. Oh, it has full. It has. She has full restore. How much does this rain booster surf do to this weird whatever? Even more damage than the move we used earlier, and she uses another full restore. Really getting out of hand. Really boring. Really annoying. But we did it. Now we can go to the next town. We get a full restore. Must be a spirit one. Are any of these going to tell us anything interesting? No. They're not. Ok, 
Can you give me something? No. And now we move from this to this. Ah, this lady is going to give us flame charge. Right? Yes. And there is Gets if I'm not mistaken. But we don't have any Pokemon that can learn Flame Church in our team right now. So the Shadow Triag just brought us to Gets as we talk about. We can listen to his rambling. Okay, that was interesting, but can I get my get on my bike please? Um, what? Okay. We should be at the supermarket now. What does he is gonna throw it at something? It's flame. Okay. A pointless move. Let's try it like this and we see this trainer is challenging us to a Pokemon match. He has a croc on his bag, so he uses a croc on his team. Oh it's a Moxie one. Let's drown it. Dead. Who is the next Pokemon? It's garbage. This guy really likes garbage. Let's drown it. So we are now at a point where we can buy some powerful TMs. And look, who is evolving? XU. Show your ultimate form! Look at that. It grew up so quickly. Now it's a flexure. Fracture or flexure, doesn't matter. Let's go up the building. So, where can we buy... Here we can buy technical machines, but they are bad, so we don't. What can we buy here? X accuracy and such. Can we and here? What can we buy here? Protein. Seven should be sufficient. Next, we are going to sell some items. Not the stones, but well, we don't need ever stone. We don't need these pretty wings. We don't need stardust. We don't need a shiny stone. We don't need a poison bar. We don't need black glasses. We may. We don't need sunstone. I'm not going to evolve and keep that Pokemon in the team. Yeah, you know who I am talking about. We don't need a spell type. We don't need psychic gem. We may need uh We don't need a smoke ball. We don't need a miracle. I think that's it. Um okay, note this. How much do we get? We don't get much from this item. We don't need the resistant wings. Oh, look at the amount of money we made just selling these wings. 
clever thing. It's clever to sell them. Now I buy ourselves some PP and Carbos and I spend the rest for proteins. Let's see. And with this we end the run for today, we will talk each other next time.